Here's the tail of the tape. 10 and 2 versus 13 and 4. Both guys got a huge long list of accolades. 145 division, they both got the scale even. Both guys very, very good on the ground and on the feet. Main event for a reason. Both guys are super exciting. This is also my division, so I'm keeping a good eye on this one. And I can't <laughs> wait to watch this exciting main event. This fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. That's 145 pounds. This is Billy Quarantillo's division. He's watching both of these young Turks. Will will they be meeting each other down the road? <laughs> Man, it's just a great matchup, man. 10 and 1 versus 13 and 3. Whew. Oh. <laughs> main, main event feels fake fight Brazil, deals. Bro. Totally, yeah, totally. I'm excited for this one. And here we All go. Right, Off Wellington. to a fast start. Yep. The Predator is fighting out of the blue corner. He's got the blue gloves with the black shorts. And Viana's fighting out of the red corner, so look for those red gloves to track him. Nice, Vienna looking for a little takedown right there, a little setup. Predator nice and loose, looks nice and light on his feet. Looks like he's about to let those hands go. Vienna really wanted to get this fight to the ground, it looks like. Predator's got that height advantage, Billy. Um, and that, perhaps Vienna doesn't want anything to do with that. That's a long night if you're at the end of someone's jab. Yeah, he looks very light on his feet, too. And maybe Vienna, you know, maybe he doesn't want to take him down. Maybe he just wants to kind of wear him out a little bit. Or maybe he does want to get him to the ground. Both guys got a lot of good accolades on the mat. So it'll be interesting to see what happens if this fight does go to the ground. And like Dave was saying, with this, with with no fans in the crowd, you can hear these, you can hear these corners really, really good. Reminds me of the UFC Apex. You can hear everything. You know, both guys can hear both corners. Predator with a nice takedown here, Ooh, stays on top for now. Good takedown there by the Predator. Yeah, I'm looking to see some of those judo tosses. He's got that brown belt in judo, and that's it's always fun when a different style is taken into the cage. It's fun to see how they match up. You know, kind of almost like the old days. You know, how do styles, you know, styles make fights? They, you know, and that I love when judo comes in there. Absolutely. Vienna playing butterfly this butterfly guard, guard and it looked like he almost yep. was going for a leg. Look at this. Both guys, ooh, set up that omoplata. Ooh, ooh getting dumped. And good job, Predator read it really well. And you, there's some high-level grappling going on right now. Predator looking to take the mount early. Nice defense there from Viana with the legs. He's, he's getting yeah, the legs he looks like in he's, the way. Yeah. Oh, great job using that butterfly guard to get right back to his feet. Now looking for his own takedown. Love the transition from a bad position to now threatening Predator. And that's what you got to do. You know, when you get taken down like that, you can't just stay there. If you're not if you're not throwing up submissions, you got to get right back to your feet. He's doing a, did a great job with that butterfly guard, getting right back up, now going for his own takedown. See if he can get it here. Why is Brazilian jiu-jitsu so effective? For that very reason. If, if you're in the street and someone had you mounted like that and you were able to put that butterfly guard on and get to your feet, you might just save your own life. Nice. Predator using that Kimura trap. Oh, Vienna wise to it. He's looking for the back now. High-level grappling exchanges. Yeah. Here. Yeah, exactly. Billy, that's just what came to my mind. We are watching high-level offense and defense here. Yeah, and every little thing. Sometimes these little positions don't look like much, but sometimes these scrambles, you know, you either end up on top or on bottom, and that could dictate how this fight goes. You know, we're, you know, 75% through this first round. Very, very close round so far. Predator doing a good job on top here, though. Nice Not trying to finish body. it, trying to soften up Viana. That, those are, you know, rat-a-tat punches to try to go for a sub or get dominant position. Yep. And Vienna really looking for these leg locks. Oh, he might have a knee bar here. Predator wise to it. Nice pass off. And that's the danger about going for leg locks in MMA. You know, if you if you miss it, you end up in a real bad spot. Great performance here so far, though, for Wellington Predator. Wow, and it, he's looking for the finish, it looked like. Almost 
got land some really big shots. Oof. The ref yeah, those are not rat Yeah, yeah no, those are not rat punches. He's hurting out. Vienna needs to find a way up to his feet. He needs to turn over, do something. He can't just stay there. Oh. Predator all over. Knees now. Oh, wow. man, two nasty knees followed up by three right close at this one. He's in trouble. It's and over. Well, yeah, the, the Predator, a, Prado. I've told them three times, if you, don't, if you don't do something, I'm going to stop this fight. If you don't do something, I'm going to stop this fight. If you don't do something, I'm going to stop this fight. He finishes Bruno Viana. It was just a good old-fashioned beat down, ground and Ooh. pound. But if we watch the replay here, notice how he used that post hand, kept Vienna right there, and he just kept unloading. And it, he started off with little shots, but then when he noticed Vienna wasn't moving, he starts with some big shots, and it looked like he hurt him, and then he, he went in for the kill and got the finish. And man, good, good, great exchanges right here with, the, with this jiu-jitsu. Went for the Omoplata. Predator just real good job fighting that off. And you know, little shots in here from half guard, but then once he gets that post hand on there, he really started unloading. Viana threatened the knee bar a couple times, yeah. but he went with the knee bar, to... but it, but it put him in a bad spot. And once Predator got him right here, notice how he's trapping that arm first, starts landing some little elbows there, nothing nothing too big, but still not. And then he switches the hands, landing some shots there. Knees to the diaphragm, oh, knee to the body. Yeah, that'll take the wind right out of you. And, and those shots just unanswered. He's pinning that arm yeah. there. And he just let those hands go, and he had no answers for him. Senhoras e senhores, o árbitro interrompeu o combate aos 4 minutos 26 segundos do primeiro round, declarando o vencedor por nocaute técnico, o Wellington Predador.